Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing God of War Ragnarok. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zarel. Let's get to it. Alright, so today we are going to free the half Goofa. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. Alright, so we're not just going to do the half Goofa and free uh, the half Goofa jellyfish looking thing. But we're going to go ahead and explore the Forbidden Desert and uh, see what is going on over there. So the main reason is to do that, uh, to free the half Goofa, but we're going to do some exploring and, and other things there and see what other... Uh, favors or side quests that we're going to pick up as a result. So, getting into it, we need to go to Halfheim and we need to go to the desert. So, originally, uh, the first time we came here, this time around, uh, or I should say in this game, we came with Atreus and Atreus heard something from the desert. Oh, here we go. Thurid and Thor's hammer. Uh, last we saw, uh, Odin threw Thor's hammer, Molnir, uh, and knocked Thurid into next week. She found the hammer and now she's claimed it for herself. So that's pretty cool. Kind of like, uh, what are what are they doing now? <laughs> All right, so. Atreus heard something from the desert, and I said it had to be a sandworm. Uh, instead, it's a half goofa, which you can see in the skybox there. So we came and freed one half goofa, but there is another one that we weren't able to uh, get to because we didn't have the right tools, we didn't have access to the, the area. And that was because uh, we had to have Freya in our party and she had to uh, enchant the chisel that we had. And this is why you have to have that enchanted chisel. Like, there's a couple of things that you can use the regular chisel for before it gets enchanted. Uh, but you don't use it that often in, the, in this title. Uh, the previous game, it seemed like once you got it, you were using it a lot. So this one, yeah, I mean, you do use it, but it's just like... Very sparingly, you don't use it very often. So you kind of write a rune, a uh, magic rune in on the little chalkboard, whatever you want to call it, and then it completes the the spell, the magic word, whatever, and Freya says it. Apparently because Kratos saying it doesn't do anything. And there goes the half goof overhead. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this place. Now, if you've already freed one half Goofa, there we go, another gateway that'll bring us right here uh, if we want to go back to the Forbidden Desert so we don't have to go through the whole thing again. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. So, doing right by Alfheim by bringing back the half Goofas. So the half goofas are flying jellyfish, or they look like jellyfish, I should say, and they apparently were all over um, the deserts of of Alfheim. Well, and then because of everything that was going on, Keep a for it, it was me. really weird. Uh, so the first one that we freed, there was a big sandstorm, like you see here. And it was actually being caused by the half goofa. Half goofa was trapped underground. Got to be this enormous size. So, uh, but anyway, one of the big things, the, the big takeaways, is that you don't have access to a lot of the the 
area, this desert area that's in the uh, sandstorm, because it is, you've got all this like sand and whatnot. Now, when you have the, the sled and the gulons, you can run into those things and get a little bit of materials here and there. But the main thing is that you should probably go more or less straight to... I mean, you can kind of look around. You can do whatever you want. Look around, you can uh, be like, hey, there's a raven right there, I'm going to take that down. Do whatever you want to do. Um, just understand that a lot of these areas uh, you won't be able to fully explore until you take care of, uh, or free, I should say, the half Gufa. So here is directly overhead of the half Gufa. We'll have to go there. In order to free it, uh, just grabbing a few materials along the way, more or less on the way. Looking at these little seals along, <laughs> uh, or what looked like seals, on the ground. Nope, that wasn't the thing. Alright, so... Yeah, visibility is really down uh, while the sandstorm is going on. And you won't be able to... Yeah, we'll just... Melee it, or a range attack. Won't be able to really see too much until we get uh, underground, free the half Gufa, and then move on. Uh, one of the big things I see an entrance. is that I think that the first half Gufa uh, might have been, might be a bigger one because you're more likely to do that as a side quest before you finish the campaign. Um, but what do you think? If you've done both of them, do you think that the first favor uh, for the first half Gufo is he would appreciate our efforts out here really long or do you feel like it's the sands again is a rare privilege even if it's only a solo act or, or the duet, second one is is more long is than the first one <laughs> man I tell you it's been so while so long since I've seen a uh, sonic barrier I almost forgot <laughs> and what to use to get rid of it. Alright, so we have a new area, because we haven't been here before. Now we just have to kind of look around and see what's going on, see what's here. Uh, kind of look around up, because we know that we're eventually going to have to go down, and if you've got the... if you're tracking the quest. It'll be uh, easier to see what direction you're supposed to go so that uh, you know you can kind of look around and be like, oh, okay, so I'll go this way because this is the way that I am going to complete the favor. Or you can be like, oh, I need to explore around a little bit before I do that. Yeah, there we go. Sonic Barrier. Alright, not much else. Now, of course, in these underground areas, you see a lot of the hive uh, material. Look around, make sure there's only, uh, you know, two choices. Now, we took care of the Sonic Barrier. I guess it was just keeping us from getting to this point because I don't see anything else and you can't go through there so that's gotta be it 
And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. <laughs> it's all how you look at it. To the Dark Elves, the, uh, the light is... Uh, should be returned. Uh, the Light Elves said, hey, we can use this to increase our power. That's where the division started. Alright, so... Moving along... You know, I thought at some point there would be a challenge for taking out all these little bugs that are crawling along the, the walls and ceilings. Um, but then I'm like, we were already down there, so we don't need to figure that out. Now that's a little different. But there's a Twilight Stone. So similar to how we had to take out the uh, crystals in the temple. We have to use the Twilight Stones to bounce the Leviathan Axe off. Yep, bunch of little exploders. They're hard to keep track of and they... Uh, they don't all explode, but a decent number of them do. Yeah, there's got to be a generator. There we go. And if you take care of the generator, uh, that'll get rid of all the rest of them. There we go. Wretches. I like to call them explore exploders. Because that's what they do. And that's what happens if you keep moving forward. You miss out on some of the treasure and whatnot. So there we go. I think that was a painting of the half goofa. Enemies approaching. Nice. Oop, look out. There we go. Enemies popping up out of nowhere. They were below me, now all of a sudden they're all over. Hey, that's a light elf. What are you doing here? <laughs> I do like the attack from above. That's fun. Oof. Variation of the Alfheim slash. guys left. I think just one guy left. Now. Nope. There's another light elf. Nope. There's another one somewhere. Ah, there you are. Get him. Ooh, that, okay, it did take him out. Here I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, they don't travel underneath. <laughs> Territory changes hands. did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. At least they tried to get to keep the intruders out. I suspect the corpse below would disagree. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. Alright, let's keep moving forward. We kind of looked around that little, well, not small arena, but arena. And keep on looking around. Oh, here's one of those things. But I don't know that there's... I didn't see any Twilight Stones that we could take care of it. Alright, so...
Got to be one around here somewhere. That dense hide ah, there we go. There hide it be behind a, a wall. <laughs> There we go. Let's continue, shall we? Moving on. All right. Looks like just one way forward. It doesn't hurt to kind of look around, see if maybe there's another option to go that you would uh, miss otherwise. Oh, some more guys. Uh, <laughs> he, he did not last. Nope. There we go. Those guys. We'll have to figure out how to get behind them. Ah, there we go. I'm like, where the heck is that guy at? Enemy behind you, Kratos. I'm waiting for the guy to pop up here so I can toast him, but Ah, there we go, finally. Good parry. These light elves are. Nice. Nice parry. There we go. Get it. <laughs> he was almost dead. <laughs> I don't think I really needed that. Oh, but it did hit that guy. All right. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of all time filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow up so large. So it was the lack of light that made them nothing for them to feed on. Ginormous. Protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. So they burrow underground for a short period. And then they come out and do their their song of the sands. But because they were trapped underground, they continued to grow and grow and grow. Whatever nourishes them under the ground continues so long as they're underground. Alright, here we go. Those things are sometimes, uh, they feel a little camouflaged if you're not looking right at it. So climb up here and then there's got to be uh, at least one point. Ah, there we go. Take the chest, and then I think we'll be able to take out that, I can't remember what it's called, little lizard looking dude. There we go. Now previously they would give you a decent number of things, but that just gave 20 shattered rune. I mean, I'll take it, certainly. But it doesn't feel like a lot compared to what we've gotten previously so but that's just me all right so let's keep on moving I was wondering if <laughs> if that would work with the uh, spear that bucket those little things like the buckets they can add up Oop, not quite. Missed that third one. There we go. So 
Sometimes it's just hack silver, but sometimes they have uh, materials, and that could certainly cause a problem further on. Now we got to the half goofa. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the half goofa. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. <laughs> that our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. There's a lot of... Well, given another chance, um... I know what insects, certainly. Uh, a few fish and whatnot that they end up dying during... While they're reproducing. Can't do it from here, I don't think. So I think we'll probably have to do some other stuff first. Twilight Stone. Yeah, I gotta hit the Twilight Stone and bounce it off. There we go. So let's get across. And <laughs> again, it's almost hidden. There we go. Almost and there. now we're going to have to go back across, I think. <laughs> it's like go back and then back and forth and back and forth. Let's see if we can get this lined up. There we go, nice. And this should be the last one. Yep. There we go. Hi. Back to the surface then. So now we go back up to the surface. Free uh finally free the half kufa and then the sandstorm should subside and we should be able to explore to our hearts content. I'm not a big fan of the runic arrows. I know it comes in handy once in a while. Uh, sucker punched by that guy. Woo! That was close. Yeah. Cloud. See if we can get to stun him pretty close. Oh, so close. And then you worry that the stun gauge starts dropping. <laughs> there we go, we got him. Get some health, get some experience. Got an artifact. Whispering slab. That'll always uh, always comes in handy. Oh, and we got a heavy runic attack. Nemean crush. Always nice. I remember at the beginning where he just started getting runic attacks. And I think it was Alfheim that we got our very first runic attack. I want to say it was Alfheim. I could be wrong. Might it be Svartalheim? The fate of these creatures. And it was a, a light runic attack. And then it was like, okay, you get a couple of light runic attacks here and there. And then you're like, oh, uh, guides, what about the, the heavy runic attacks? No metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used Perhaps it is just a story. The way to pass mm -hmm. the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but I do like that they uh, they have Your some stories. more stories that they about my stories. that they tell. I wouldn't exactly call them comfort. There, Mamir is the best. It's gotta be one of these. No, don't sell yourself uh, short, Maybe not here. Maybe come it's come away down from the here. days of laconic fables. Nope. It's okay. Nope. Finish your story, Kratos. Nope. The well, then what? The daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, 
At least it's a relatable story. Yeah, not going further down. There we go. Bounce, bounce, smash. Yeah, and there's one up there, but won't matter until we get up to it. There we go. <laughs> it's like, nope, that's not right. And then you're like, uh, nope. That's definitely not right. There we go. Problem solved. There we go. Smash through that door. It's always a one way smash. Let's make our way back out. It's one of those. Wait, is this the way? <laughs> You're. My fevered pitch to, to explore everything. Oop. Another light on. Yeah, they took it over from all the, the dark elves that were in the... in the underground. So does that mean there are some dark elves in the palace now? Could very well be. Only way to find out would be to go into the palace. I don't know that I have a strong desire to go back to the palace. I'm pretty sure there are some things close to the palace that I need to do. Because um, when you come in, there's at least... A couple, I want to say a couple things that you can't do because you don't have the right tools or you don't have the tools yet. There we go. Freeze it! I really thought you would uh, take your Blades of Chaos and just burn through it. But nope, you're freezing it. Alright. Free! You're free! Fly free! Weird jellyfish. If my stories are of no comfort, take solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. So there we go. These little side quests add to the story, and then you also have these uh, conversations either related to the side quests. Uh, or favors, or sometimes it's just like you're you're traveling in a boat and they start talking about something about uh, you know your past or uh, some story that they heard or want to know more information about. Thank you, Kratos. But I think this it really kind of helps to flesh out the the characters. Here. Uh, more fully. So the giant half goofas are no rush to leave yet, done for. Knows what kind of adventures await us in yeah. a no reason to leave just yet. But now we've got half a million of uh, these baby half goofas. Ready to start things up once again. Alright, so now that the sandstorm is over, 
artificial stand sandstorm. I don't know what you want to call it. We can kind of look around the area and see what's what's going on. Uh, I'm sure we'll pick up some new favors along the way. Let's take a look at the maps. We're like, uh, nope, that's not what we want to do. We want to stay in the Forbidden Sands, not go to the Barrens. Sure, these things on the ground, sigils, seals, whatever, crystal, doodads. Prepare for another fight. Got a berserker gravestone to deal with. We've got a chest in there. Oop, and enemies. Jumping out of the woodwork. Uh, <laughs> nice. Send them back into it. It's always fun when you knock some guy off a cliff and, <laughs> and he's just like, ah. Uh, and sometimes you have like a health stone or something drop where he was at. Alright, so this is a little trickier than some. Need to get these sigils in the right spot so I can blow them up. There we go. Yes, that did it. Alright, now we can turn it and uh... Let's see... Nope, I think it's just... There we go. My angle's bad. Wow, that turned out just right. I turned that one thinking that I could do it with just one of them. Nope. <laughs> Alright, hardened war handles. I am glad that they don't start all of these off at level one and you have to do everything from scratch. As you go along, you get things at a at a higher level. Uh, but I think six is the highest that anything starts at. So here we go. All that for two chests. We got this berserker gravestone to deal with. And you know, you can always come back to it. Be like, eh, I don't know if I'm ready for it or not. Gotta get on the plus side. Guilty the solid. Oh, good. I'm glad that actually worked. <laughs> I was worried that that was not going to do it and I was going to lose half my health. Yeah, it doesn't help that not all of my stuff is. Uh, my runic packs are. Level 3. The other reason to use your uh, experience. One of the things that you notice is that when the bosses get uh, stunned, they just lose their stun bar. They kind of act confused for a second. This guy's not bad. I might have spoken too soon. <laughs> Compared to some berserkers, this one isn't as bad as some. Or maybe I'll just have uh, enough upgrades that it's not as brutal. But I don't have anything crazy uh, built up. So. Yeah, maybe. I <laughs> don't want to speak too soon. There we go. Another one down. What is Another one bites the this. Spirit? It's a symbol of their betrayal. Their cruelty personified. The sooner we are done with it, the so better. So we're doing the right you're thing right. by taking these guys out. I suppose you're Rip right. of the Nine Realms. The Rip so powerful it said to slow time itself. Oof. 
lost a good chunk of health even after using rage. That's pretty crazy. Alright, so as you get close to some of the things, it should pop up on the map. So you can be like, oh, look at the map and be like, oh, this is over here, oh, this is over here, etc. We got a marking. Another ingredient, we got a Nornir chest. Ah, there we go. Mimir, tell me more of Yari. After leaving his family, he wandered the realms in search of something unnameable. Unnameable. In his wondrous travels, nothing satisfied him. Until he met another wanderer in search of something similar. Unnameable. He was called Somar. Let us find the final ingredient. Alright, we got one more. There we go. That was pretty straightforward. Oop. Another eye loading. Oop, not close enough. The spear's got good distance on it, but it will drop once it hits its max distance. That, there we go. I wonder if we shouldn't check back on the Raven Tree. So a little bit over halfway. Crazy how many uh, ravens there are throughout the realms. Alright, so here's the third and final torch that we need to light. Let's see if we can get it. Sometimes you have to get it to where it's just slightly overlapping. Nope, not quite. Let's see if we can... There we go, that should do it. Yes. Yeah, just slightly overlapping, otherwise you don't have enough... You run out of uh, road, so to speak. And you can't get your uh, Blades of Chaos close enough to ignite it. I think they introduced some, some fudge fudge factor in there so people don't have to be exact which is good there's no reason for players to get frustrated because they can't get the exact placement of the sigil arrows Freya, getting back to your brother learning to realm travel you said he fell in love with his teacher yes girth he yeah, here Brock and Sindri. So, wander they I thought were like aberrations the that they uh, but one day, were able to travel between realms, and the, the more you learn, the more it's like, oh yeah, this person learned how to realm travel. Oh yeah, and that person, and this person, and then it's like, oh, not quite as special anymore. More light elves. Let's see. Oh. That was not what I was trying to do. <laughs> there we go, got rid of that guy. That guy was a nuisance. There we go, one left. Oh, man. There we go. Alright, knock this down. That way we don't have to climb up again. Climb to get to it, I should say. Alright. Oh. Something over here. These small passageways. Oh, here we go. A token. A badge of honor. The elves made a few of these. They'd hang them. Oh, up. only got one more tribute to Freya. Freyer left. Freyer. Ooh. Oh, and there's at least two of these guys. Good time to use a realm shift. 
There we go. I don't think knocking him off would help. Or if it's even possible. But it didn't matter. Yeah, we're down to like a quarter. Eh, a third now, but still. Well, I guess you can see the uh, the temple, or the light from the temple, I should say, from anywhere in Alfheim. Well, anywhere that we can go. All right, I guess that's it for that section of the sand. I don't know. <laughs> a light elf statue in the desert. Ah, oh. aye. Yep. Light elf. Big Deer spoke of in Van Eyde. Well, I guess it shouldn't be surprised if they swap areas depending on which faction's winning. Julie. Oh, put it on one of my horns. Let's see <laughs> if I can pull it off. No. That's all my brothers. Hey, that was the last piece. I actually completed one. How nice. Ah, uh, Elven Sanctum. So let's get some history. Get a history le lesson. I, w I kind of feel like we know quite a bit about the, the elves already. Alright, I guess there's more to learn, but... An elven library. An archive of knowledge. No sign of the light elves. No well, sign of the light elves. Maybe they've left for the day. Ooh, they got a nice little cafe here. Oh, okay, reading room. <laughs> it could be a cafe. All they need is a barista. Out of my way for you. These texts alone are not enough to end the Elven War. But restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Mm -hmm. Restricting like access. Advantage for the light access. Elves. You're not allowed. Oh, there we go. We got a treasure map. tower. I can only assume it's within the realm, so... Alright, what do we get? This book is sealed, but there is... Consoles. Console. We are spoke of an exile of the same name. An Odds exile. Are he'd like a gander at that particular text. Well, I wonder where. <laughs> seeing if there's any buckets. Oh, good thing I went this direction, though. All this knowledge of their ancestors, their shared history, poetry, just sitting here. Yep. Forgotten. What a waste. Knowledge and storage isn't knowledge at all. It's just sitting. Oh, there's two lore markers. Hmm. Oh, another scroll. So, these are the volume schematics, eh? You know of him. Aye. 
One of the most gifted uh, two out of four of the lost Until pages. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. <laughs> Until he developed a conscience. Oh, man. All right, and the way out. Ah, it appears the librarian would like a The librarian. She said, Shh. Sounds like you're she making too much noise with those weapons of yours. Shield strike now. Shield bash. Oh, a little too slow on the parry there. Runic packs in. <laughs> Since I'll likely have time to, uh, close. Oh, double. There we go, good parry. Yeah, I got a little bit too low for my liking. See how low I can get the Maven before I run out. I'm gonna run out of rage. That's, that's a definite. All right, so that should make it a little bit easier. Oh, she dodged it. Heck. There we go. Parry. Oop. Nope. Didn't parry. There. Oh, she's not done for yet. There we go. Now she's done for. Yeah, your mom. That's what I said. Helga brought him on. She thinks she's protecting them by hiding all this knowledge away. Ah, she's protecting them by hiding the knowledge. The elves do not need protection from their history. They need access. A new chapter awaits. Yeah, <laughs> I was just waiting to see if she tries to do another slash at me. I can't even count how many times. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice.